Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and if it's your first time here, thank you for watching this video. I am 31 years old and I am currently 20 weeks pregnant with our first child. So in this video, I'm kind of at the middle of my pregnancy. So I hit that 20 week mark and right now, none of my clothes fit the way that they used to. None of my pants fit for sure. Some of my shirts still fit, but uh, there was a huge sale going on at Pink Blush. And if you've never heard of it, it's a maternity clothing line. It was recommended to me by my sister and my sister-in-law who had bought clothes from them before. And what's cool about them, I had seen ads about their clothing all over Instagram. So it got me intrigued. And the thing that I loved and that was I was most drawn to about them was that they make maternity clothes that are actually stylish and that can fit you all throughout your pregnancy so they're meant to fit you when you've got a huge bump and when you're maybe not even showing so that was really something that drew me to them because right now I'm kind of in that awkward stage where I you know have a a little bit of a belly um, but I'm not you know out to here and it's very obvious so Pink Blush was having a really big sale and I think most of the time you can get their clothes for a discounted rate. You don't have to buy them full price from what I've seen. So I went ahead and just splurged because I really wanted to kind of embrace my pregnant body and have something that was cute. The holidays are coming up and I'm going back home and there's going to be a bunch of festivities, going out to dinner, seeing, you know, friends and family and obviously Christmas, Christmas Eve. I went ahead and I bought a bunch of stuff, about 10 items, which I'm going to go get and I'm going to do a huge try on and review of everything that I got. Here is my humongous bag of stuff that I bought. And so I got, for the majority of the items, their tops. Uh, just because I had already gone on to motherhood maternity and I bought about three or four pairs of maternity jeans and leggings. I love them the best. I tried a couple other brands. I ordered off of Amazon. I didn't want to spend tons and tons of money because, you know, you're only going to be wearing this stuff for, you know, a short period of time. So, but I'm actually wearing some motherhood maternity jeggings which I absolutely love and I'll show you I think I'm going to try most of these tops on with those and I will show you what they all look like but as you can see I just have a whole bunch of stuff everything from stuff that's a little more fancy and then I typically am a jeans and t-shirt type of gal so a lot of the stuff that I bought is pretty casual that you can wear out on the weekends but also dress up throw on a pair of heels layer with you know a cute vest or something like that and transform your day look to a night look so without further ado I'm just gonna go ahead and start trying things on for you Okay, so before I try everything on, here is just a quick shot of everything that I got. Uh, so f over here, this is a cardigan. These are just some leggings, black leggings. And then I've got just a gray t-shirt, kind of a brownish t-shirt, another striped short sleeve shirt, a three-quarter length kind of blouse and then a couple long sleeve shirts just a stripe one basic green and gray I have this sweatshirt here and then kind of a nicer pink blush colored top so here's everything that I'm gonna try on let's go okay so first up I've got this basic gray t-shirt it's really cute it's short sleeves it's got this cute little tie detail down here and it's really really soft it's very comfortable um, there's definitely a lot of room to grow here's from the side 
it's great it covers the butt and it just looks really cute um, I can definitely see myself wearing this out and about and around just you know doing errands and stuff and you know I can't really I'm not showing too too much maybe you can see here but um, it's really very comfortable and I'm just going to throw on, this is the cardigan that I got. It's long. It's really, really soft. I think it's that kind of jersey material as well. That's what the shirt feels like too. But um, I feel like you just can't go wrong with a long, oversized kind of cardigan. And as you know, layering for the winter and then you can also, this is really, really lightweight. So if you wanted to, you could wear this into the spring. I'm in Texas, so the weather kind of is up and down right now. It's, you know, it was 50 degrees the other day, but um, it also goes up to like mid 70s sometimes. But overall, it's just a really cute, both of these are just cute staples that you can have in your maternity wardrobe. And honestly, if you aren't pregnant or if you're early on, I think these are also really good options. Okay, next up, I've got this kind of brown, grayish short sleeve shirt. It's the same material as that first gray one that I tried on, and it's super, super soft, super comfortable. It's got the ruching down the side. Here's a closer look at the color for you. It's got the ruching down the side, so right now it's just a little bit loose on me, but totally could wear it. Um, but there's tons of room to grow as well. It's very flattering, slimming. It doesn't make you look frumpy, in my opinion. Um, it'll definitely be a good staple. If you're going out at night, you can throw on a cute, you know, leather jacket or a denim jacket or something, put on some heels and you've got a great night look as well. So I really like this. I'll definitely be keeping this one too. It's just very comfortable and another great basic. Next up, I have this beige and white striped short sleeve shirt. Here's kind of a closer look at it. It's extremely lightweight material um, and very, very flowy. And again, I love this kind of like knot detail that's at the bottom of it. It's, it's really cute on right now. Again, if you're kind of at the same point in your pregnancy as me around, you know, the second trimester where you're not really popped out yet, I mean, Wearing this, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell that I'm pregnant, but it's still super stylish. Again, you can throw on a jacket if it's cold outside. I love layering. Again, if you wanted to, you can put cardigan on. I feel like this cardigan, I can literally wear with everything that I bought, but it's a really, it's a really cute top. I like it. And I will definitely, and it also, if you can tell, it covers the butt. Just for reference, I am short. I'm 5'1", and I think I'm out of breath. I think I'm about 127 pounds right now. My, my starting weight was around 117, so if that helps out, knowing kind of the length, like if you're a really tall girl, this will probably look a little bit different on you than it does on me. I... I do like, I really do like the kind of longer, more coverage tops, but yeah. So here it is, um, definitely a lot of room to grow. So you can see this will last me probably throughout my entire pregnancy. Okay, next up, I've got this really cute three quarter kind of long bell slash a little bat winged type shirt. 
gray stripes. I love, I feel like this, this kind of top is really trendy right now with the buttons that go down the front. I've seen a ton of people who are not pregnant, just like people that I follow, um, like Instagram fashion bloggers that have shirts like this. Again, it's a really, really soft material and it's got this really cute tie at the bottom so you can adjust it and untie it if you want. For me, it covers the butt pretty well and it's just very, very comfy. I mean, I feel like this is a stylish piece that I will absolutely be wearing. There's a ton of room in it, so once I get really huge, it's gonna fit me just as well and then I can always untie the bottom if I needed to. Again, you can layer this if you want, throw a jacket over it, put on some heels, or go completely casual and, you know, just run errands or, you know, have a normal day and it chase around your kids, whatever it is. But it's super stretchy material. All this stuff, except for that last uh, white and beige striped shirt, they all have this kind of soft jersey material that I just love. It's super comfortable. So there's this one. So next, going into some more winter appropriate clothes in case you live in climates that get really freezing. This is just kind of a knit, ruched, does, it's not as thick as a sweater, but it's thicker than just a regular long sleeve shirt. But again, it's got a lot of room to grow. It's got the ruching down the sides. It's long, covers the butt again, and it's really comfortable. It also, if you can't, it's got these really cute like ruching details on the sleeves. So I just, I mean, I'm really into stripes. I, as you can see, there's tons of stripe clothes that I just bought, but you know, it's pretty flattering and you can wear it basically with anything. If you want to layer it, I have this really cute vest puffer vest that I got from Old Navy it's literally the same color as the burgundy here and you can just throw this vest right on well I can if you've got a vest or something throw it on gives you a little bit more coverage and some warmth if you want and still a lot of room for the baby to grow so this actually this shirt fits me really nicely right now and I'm definitely gonna be bringing this back home when I go back for Christmas. Again, here's kind of the material on it. It's like a knit. It's really comfortable, I love it. Okay, up next, I have this baseball type of a shirt. It's forest green and gray, and it's really soft. It's kind of like waffle type material. Here's a closer up view of what it looks like. This one is pretty lightweight, so you definitely, if it's cold outside, you need a jacket or something. But again, it covers the butt really nicely. And this one's a, a little bit more snug on me. I don't know how it's gonna actually end up fitting when I've got a bigger belly, but it's pretty, the material feels pretty stretchy. I don't know. So, Another kind of just basic that you can wear day-to-day -day life. I'm really into vests right now, so this is another one that is really awesome. You can just throw over any vest or, you know, you can put that cardigan that I had over it too. And you've got yourself a really cute outfit. Oh, another thing this um, the top of it is sorry you guys can see my bra but the top is a little bit wide so I kind of like this detail if you wanted to wear a really cute bralette underneath it like a lacy bralette because it kind of it's not off the shoulder but it's got a wider neck so keep that in mind too okay guys I've only got let's see this top and then one more oh there's a string hanging out of here 
and then the leggings that I bought. So this top is a little bit see-through as you might be able to tell. So you might wanna throw like a white tank top underneath it, a black tank top underneath it, but this is kind of a sweatshirt. It's not very thick and to be honest, the inside is a little bit scratchy. Um, it's not like a soft fleecy material. It's, I don't know if you can see up close what kind of material it's like a little bit rougher than a normal sweatshirt but i still think it's really really cute it's got these cute little brown patches on the elbows which are such an adorable detail i love the triangle that goes to the front it kind of i don't know maybe it slims you a little bit and it's long it goes below my booty um and it's got these kind of like it's like a little double layer at the bottom but the best part is it's got pockets so it's a really really cute sweater sweatshirt type of a thing I definitely recommend putting something underneath it or um, layering it with something else because I'm obsessed with this vest I would probably just throw this on it's about 50 degrees here in Texas today so I might actually wear this but you know just throwing on a vest and heading outside for the day's activities it's cute and what I like about this sweatshirt a lot is that it's got it's got definitely has room to grow but it's it doesn't look like a maternity piece at all it's just kind of a longer sweater type of a shirt and i can definitely i would definitely be able to wear this even if i was around you know the first trimester in the first few weeks of being pregnant where you can still fit into all your clothes i mean the arms fit perfectly everything fits really perfect so this is another win Okay, this is the last top that I have, and it's a blush. I don't know what material this is. Do you guys know? It's kind of, it's really light and airy, and it's not really soft. It's definitely not jersey. I just, I'm, I don't know what kind of material it is. But anyway, this is kind of a more dressy top. It's extremely long. It's very flowy. I love the scalloped details on the sleeves and on the bottom as well it's just really cute I mean I can I can imagine myself maybe more toward the spring or even in the winter time throwing on a pair of you know faux leather pants like black faux leather pant pants with some heels rocking it with a leather jacket and making it kind of a dressy type of uh, top. I also feel like if you've got a baby shower or something to go to, maybe it's a girl's baby shower or something, this would be the perfect thing to wear if you're pregnant. It's got so much room. I don't know if you can tell how loose it is, but I'll definitely be able to wear this. My Baby is due in the springtime, so there's probably going to be situations where going out with friends or something in the spring and just need a nicer top to wear out, a nicer top to wear, and gravitating towards this. And again, if you're not really showing like me, this is still very fashionable, and I like it a lot. So, here's side view. Again, a little closer from the front. And then nice and long, for me at least, <laughs> in the back. In case you guys were wondering about the pants that I'm wearing, I told you that I got them from Motherhood Maternity and I just love them. They're the Indigo Blue brand. I'm just gonna try to show you right here. And it's got the really nice and stretchy top that you can pull up high if you want. But right now, I don't really have too much to keep it up with. So I usually just roll it down. And I just love these pants so much. I got 
a couple of other pairs. So if you want me to do a try on of the motherhood maternity pants that I got, let me know and I'm happy to do that. Okay guys, so the last thing that I got were these leggings, these black leggings and they have a nice, actually the, these, the top of these leggings pretty fit me pretty well right now and they're very stretchy so there's going to be a ton of room to grow. They're super comfortable. They've got fleece on the inside, which is a really nice touch for the winter time. They're just super comfortable and I feel like on sale I got them for maybe $13 or so, so very affordable. And I can see myself just living in these. Especially right now, I'm finally able to kind of comfortably fit into maternity pants. A few weeks ago, I was really at that very in-between point where maternity pants were just really big on me and, you know, just were not working. But my old pants were too small and too snug. But these, I really wish I had bought them earlier. They have really, really nice support up through here. And I don't know, I just feel like they're very, very flattering and they're comfortable throughout the legs and tons of room, very soft, fleecy inside. So there you have it. Okay guys, so that was everything in my haul and I'm just taking a look at the receipt that I got and everything that I bought was in a size small and for a lot of maternity brand clothing lines you're supposed to buy the size that you were before you got pregnant so everything was a small aside from the black leggings and that was a one size fits all so I don't know they were really um, they fit me really well and were pretty snug so I'm not sure if you're a larger gal and you got some curves if they would feel as comfortable but they were a one size fits all. And again, I'm 5'1 and about 127, 128 pounds right now at 20 weeks pregnant. So what did I think of everything? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm literally going to keep every single thing that I purchased. And I love the way that they look on me right now at the size that I am. And hopefully they'll look the same or better when I have a bump and can really show it off. Everything was super affordable. I got 25% off. They were having a great sale. So I got 25% off everything and I signed up for their emails and every email that I receive, they're doing some sort of sale. So whether it's 30% off or 20% off. So this is really, really affordable. I spent $252.75 for everything. And usually I don't do huge shopping splurges, but because I'm first time going to be mom, I just went for it. And I'm so happy. Everything fit really nicely. The quality was pretty good. I haven't washed anything yet, so I'm not sure if things are going to last very long, if the material is actually really quality, but I thought everything was really, really cute. And I don't know if you're kind of a basics type of a girl like me, I don't like any flashy, bright colors or patterns or anything. So everything that I found was spot on for my style. And I just loved it. I, I'm keeping it all and I never do that. Like I never go out and buy 10 things from a store and keep everything. So I was really, really shocked by this. And I would totally recommend Pink Blush if you're in the market. Also, I'm gonna try to find all of the clothes that I purchased and link them in the description box in case you liked it and you wanna buy them too. I don't know if they're still gonna be on sale or if they're still around. I bought them last month, so maybe like three weeks ago or so maybe two weeks ago. So I'm sure they still have them. And hopefully this video inspired you. I know when I first got pregnant, everybody was like, uh, oh, maternity clothes are so ugly. And you just look really frumpy. And honestly, I love these clothes. I would wear them if I wasn't pregnant. 
and I can't wait to see what they look like, you know, in a couple months when I'm showing more. So let me know down in the comments what you thought of this haul. Did you like it? Do you have a style that's similar to mine? Have you bought from Pink Blush before? Did you have a good experience? And what other brands of maternity clothes do you buy? I'm actually looking for some active wear maternity leggings to work out in. I can't seem to find a pair and I really, I don't wanna spend $100 on Lululemon. So let me know down in the comments if you found an affordable active wear legging and Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and if you want to see other hauls of more maternity clothes that I purchased, please let me know. I had a really fun time filming this. I kind of just started up with my YouTube channel so if you enjoyed this video, great and let me know what you thought. What was your favorite top or favorite outfit that I tried on and... I'd love to connect with you guys and kind of talk fashion. So thank you so much for everybody that stuck through this entire video with me. And I hope you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to join me and my husband on this new journey. And if you've got any advice from other brands that you love, let me know. So I will talk to you guys next time. Love you. Bye.